Severe maternal mortality and morbidity is a very large issue right now in the U.S., and especially within Texas. In the state of Texas, about 86% of maternal mortality could have been preventable. It really boils down to making sure we're giving access for patients to adequate health care and making sure they understand their own risk factors and the implications of some of the choices they make. There's a lot of challenges with maternal health across the state of Texas. Actually, Texas has ranked as of 2022, number 50 of all the states in terms of the access to quality prenatal and maternal health care. So often in women's health care, the female or the mom drive the health for the family. And so by giving access to women for true health care, authentic health care, whole health care, then a lot of other family members or even multiple generations within that family can actually have access to health care and realize there's something that they may need. Our moms have basic needs issues before we can even address pregnancy. A lot of mothers don't um, have access to insurance. They don't have access to finances to pay out of pocket. It's very difficult to get mom to focus on has baby gotten immunizations when I don't even have a job to get a car, to get to the doctor, to get those immunizations. The Houston Health Department has initiatives to address maternal child health. One of those is the Nurse Family Partnership Program, a home visiting program for first time moms. We directly link them to resources within the city of Houston and through other partner agencies to try to make their first time motherhood journey a lot more bearable. What we want to do is uh, encourage uh, healthy outcomes. We have learned that if baby has a good start up until two years old, they're, they're much more likely to do better once they enter grade school. Parts of Houston don't have easy access to a grocery store, or the only thing that's available is the corner store. You got snacks, chips, candy, soda, and so if that's all that's available for moms, your pregnancy is not gonna be healthy and you're probably not gonna have really good health outcomes. So WIC really helps us out with that. WIC is Women, Infants, and Children, and it's a program for any mom. Um, you have to meet income guidelines, but they supply vouchers for healthy foods so that during your pregnancy and during the toddler years, you're able to provide mom and baby with healthy foods to promote adequate nutrition. We have an initiative where we were promoting safe sleep. So if we realize our moms are sleeping with baby in the bed, we know that's a risk for SIDS. So we provide play pens for eligible clients so that the baby can have a safe place to sleep. Same thing with car seats. A lot of moms are just putting baby in the seat. So when we identify those needs, we try to provide um, for them as well. We also partner with other agencies that provide shelter for human um, trafficking victims, for moms that are being abused. We just really try to keep those connections open so that when we run into those difficulties, we're able to better address their concerns and issues. The crime rate does affect your ability to be healthy and have a healthy pregnancy. If you're worried about your windows being shot out as you sleep, that's gonna make it difficult for you to focus on the good things like reading to baby or being able to do nap time and do positive interactions with your baby. When patients are encountering a healthcare provider, we're only getting a snippet of their life or maybe their current medical condition. So by taking a step back and really trying to understand where their patient's coming from, their life experiences, it may give us a better idea of how we can make a more reasonable treatment plan for them and then build up trust because in the end, we're all humans. We all have to be able to help each other out. That portion of healthcare of how to administer healthcare in a very equitable way can be a very challenging balance. I feel like you really need to be able to state the truth, state the reality of where a patient is, but still be loving and encouraging so that they want to make those positive changes. Texas, unfortunately, has led 
the nation around the number of hospital closures and clinic closures, particularly in the rural sites across the state. So that access to care isn't there if they don't have a hospital and or a local provider. So here in Brazos County, we've really led around this. We've collaborated from the School of Medicine and our healthcare providers with the Brazos County Prenatal Clinic. Collaborations are huge in addressing these challenges. You have to do it as a team. You need to make sure that everyone's aware of the issues, first of all, and collaboratively and collectively working to address the issues. The School of Medicine is very proud of our academic relationship with St. Joe's here in Brazos County and St. Luke's and Common Spirit throughout the state and the nation. And that's where that collaborative relationship around working on some of these healthcare challenges, particularly maternal fetal health, comes into play. The collaborations you know, between St. Luke's and other clinical affiliates and the School of Medicine is very important to helping solve some of these issues. Education is the foundation of a healthy pregnancy, right? The more you know, the more questions you can ask, the more informed you'll be. By educating them, we can give them better options, not only to have good health care, but really longer term outcomes that'll affect them and their families. The difference from now and 150 years ago is that we won't accept this high level of maternal mortality. Even though it's more of an issue, we have more resources in the sense that we have ability to diagnose and to make interventions. There's so many amazing minds within Baylor St. Luke's that are really posing these questions, looking at data and saying, how can you make system changes to really help these patients before they even enter some of these problems?